Well, that's just grim. Hey, Carmen. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You're really not. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Oh, Carly. Hey there. You cray cray. Can I do anything for you, Carly? I'm fine, thanks. Okay. Let's go talk to other people. Sorry this, if this seems a bit tedious. Just, you know, it's a point and click adventure game. This kind of thing is pretty, uh. We just need to get back to. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Cool. Okay, let's go and, let's go and help. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Lily and Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. That's fair enough. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Well, no, but I had no idea. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Fair enough. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? In Savannah, Savannah I think. Oh. You guys are together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Oh, thank you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Air Force yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. <laughs> you? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Oh. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm oh, fine. gosh. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? Hmm. The dead are up, walking around, eating hey. people, and turning them into more, more of them. I'd like to know where it started, I mean, really. Jesus. But it isn't. This we need game to about stick survival. together and get through this. We need to stick together. I'm gonna get back to him. Cool. Sounds good. Okay, um, let's go and see what's through the door then. Oh dear me. Well, this just gets better and better. Super happy fun times for everyone. Exit. This door leads to the back alley. Ah, uh -huh, first, first aid, aid kit. kit. Could be useful. Unless there's a dead hand. And don't slip in the blood, Lee. I know how bad you are at slipping in blood. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. What do you mean, luckily? We could really do with that. Look at this photograph. Do it makes me laugh. Oh snap! They were his parents, and his brother was a surgeon. Sad face. <gasps> it was very dramatic. Find anything? It 
to follow the family who own this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Sweet. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. No. I didn't stick in the first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. <laughs> we've got this little girl well, we've come to the wrong place. Look, don't make me wrong on this. Don't worry. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Oh. Oh. Trust. Oh, friend. Oh, zombie friend. Zombie apocalypse friend. My parents came in here hoping to survive. And then. Looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. <sighs> Good job, guys. Good job. Could fashion that into some sort of knife. Maybe a stabby thing of some sort. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Uh, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. It is a very stylish hat. My dad gave hat. it to me. Based on smart like that. Oh, Clem, let's go and have a chat. You okay? Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm of not gonna go looking for. Him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna of course. Try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Okay. Dude, take the cane. It'd be super useful. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Before I do, though, I'm gonna go check out a few things outside. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Here we go. Lee? Clem. Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? <sighs> no, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He yeah. was. Oh, that's an interesting conversation to have with a ten-year-old. Got a little food grip. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. <laughs> Lol. Try to get some... It's not much, but here. For the board. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. Hmm. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. 
You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Cool. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. <laughs> okay. First of all, we need to go and get those peels. Gotta grab some peels. My gosh, there's plenty to do, and I'm not even through the first fifth of it yet. Jeez. This bulk session's gone on for ages. Gotta make sure that I don't run out of space on my hard drive. How long has it been now? It's been Better get this door clear, huh? Jeez. Can I help? It's been a bit more than an hour. Sure. Put a bit of time perspective into this. Here we go. These ones see the light today for weeks, though. So how are you? How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? <laughs> it's not good. No. no, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Oh, well, that's good. Okay, here we go. And again. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Parents do. My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. Ah, medic and a What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like um, social studies? <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> you didn't answer my question. Oh. All right, a little further. Watch your fingers. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? No. I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. It's one of those but things, you Claire. love them, right? Of course. Yeah, of course. <sighs> but my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. It happens. I got into some trouble and you know, I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Yay. Clem's my friend.